welcome to the channel everybody my name is ryan welcome can't believe 2024 it's almost over 2025 is almost here now let's be honest 2024 all the hype was ai right now what's the hype quantum computing it's a very important topic glenn's been doing videos on this i've been covering rare earth elements but because quantum computing is tied into semiconductors, I've been doing some research here. I actually dove into the quantum computing watch list that Glenn put in the software almost two years ago. As I was looking through that list, it was outdated. And some of the stocks that Glenn's been recommending are not on the list. So tonight's presentation, I'm going to present to you 24 stocks on a quantum computing watch list. Now, I need your help with this. I'm going to go through these stocks. If there are great quantum computing stocks, stocks out there that are not on the list please put them in the comment section because january 10th i'm going to be adding this watch list to the software i'm going to show you exactly where to find it so that way you can be on top of the best quantum computing stocks out there going into 2025. now if this is something you're interested in let's go ahead and jump in the software down below the week of the tampa event that friday the strategy of the week will be introducing the new quantum computing watch list. Now you can see the video right behind me. Glenn did a phenomenal video, it's 25 minutes long. He did a lot of news broke out into what's going on in the quantum field. Why are these stocks popping as much as they are? Now tonight's presentation, I'm not gonna go to news. I'm gonna go jump right into these 24 stocks, break down the chart so that way you can see which ones are the best opportunities here's the old list that glenn added to the software a couple years ago he had some great stocks and definitely was ahead of the curve now on the new list some of these stocks especially the ones i have highlighted here smci alibaba intel they will not be making the cut so let's go ahead and check out the new watch list and see exactly which stocks should be on your radar so here is the new list i have for you so far as you can see i've got 24 stocks on the list i've got some of the big names here nvidia you know google obviously with their breakthrough last week with the willow chip you know talking Taiwan Semiconductor, the popular ones here, QTUM, QBIT. You can see the momentum with these positions, RT. This looks at the short-term price trend. Zero to two scale. With some of these at two ratings, you can see the momentum about as parabolic as it's going to get. So you can see a lot of momentum in the space right now. That's why it's on everybody's radar. And I don't think it's over. I think this is going to go well into 2025, just like AI. AI is not over. But I'm going to look at it like Bitcoin. The best time to be buying these stocks is probably when no one is talking about these stocks, right? We're paying a premium right now. And it's shown in the watch list average down below. We look, look, price action 121, right? While on average, we value these companies at $100. So you can see the space is about 20% overvalued so this is where i need your help you can see the list of stocks i have for you and if i scroll down the bottom of the items here we've got wit ibm wimmy and qualcomm now if there are any stocks that are in the quantum computing space please put them in the comment section if they're not on this list because i'm going to go through the comment section i'm going to filter the stocks that you know make it to the list here and i'm going to add it to the list come January. So that way you can just come to the software and you can see exactly which are the best performing quantum computing stocks with exposure, right? Now, real quick, just because I know everybody wants me to break down these stocks, we're going to break down 24 stocks in just a matter of minutes. First up, no surprise, we got NVIDIA, right? Nice price action, lower left, upper right. We all know about NVIDIA and right now it's trading on a discount. You see it broke its upward trend line, but look, the valuation, we buy the stock at $163. Right now, it's currently trading at $133. We are right at a support zone. The zone coming around 131.72. So price action, you know, breaks the support zone, especially if it surpasses yesterday's bottom wick, would get defensive when it comes to NVIDIA. Other than that, right now, it looks like a great bottom fishing opportunity. Now, here we have Google, even after the huge news last week and the price action taking off, look at the valuation. We value the stock at $245. This is one of the most undervalued MAG7 stocks. So if you want exposure to quantum computing, but safety and a value play, Google is going to be your best bet, hands down. Now, here we've got Amazon. They've already got into the AI chip space, and now they're going to be getting into the quantum computing space, right? They're one of the MAG7 players. They're going to have exposure to this. Now, as far as, you know, breakthroughs, they're not making the news or headlines like Google, but they do have some things in the works. Now, if we look at TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor, they produce 
the world's leading and most advanced AI chips. So I'm not going to be surprised if they get into the quantum chip space, right? And they've actually just announced that. First time ever they have their own R&D program specialized just for manufacturing quantum computing chips. So you're going to see TSM get into the space, even though they're late to the party, they're going to be getting in there. And with their expertise in AI chips, I see them leading into the quantum chip space just as well. Now, here's the ETF on the space, Qtum Defiance Quantum. This is a parabolic move. You can see momentum to the upside. If you're going to get in this, you know, just use some kind of trailing stop, moving averages, star search, something to capture parabolic moves. Here's another one, Qubit coming in at 1892 right now. The market just open, hasn't been open too long, but we can see price action here at 1895, parabolic moves to the upside. So again, be careful if you're going to get into these positions. Does this price action look sustainable? And look at the value. We value this at 62 cents. A lot of hype right now. Investors are paying a premium. I don't want you to get burned. So again, use something like a trailing stop, star search, something to help capture momentum. That's all. Here we have D-Wave. I don't like this upper wick. I can tell you that right now. Price action coming at 790. Again, though, look, overvalued, 16 cents. I'm going to treat these like momentum plays. I would not be getting emotionally attached and, you know, think these companies are the, you know, the thing of the future because they're still companies, right? They have to make money. RGTI, I do like this. Look, full body candlestick yesterday, very little wick at the top. Buyers have control. So another great momentum play. Treat it like a momentum play because that's exactly what a lot of these stocks are. Now here's form, right? Form factor, price action, not done a whole lot over the last year, but look, the stock is undervalued right now. You can see investors not too enthused, but momentum is to the upside right now. Price action just got into the fast lane. So if you're trying to get into an undervalued stock, that has momentum to the upside, but it's not parabolic. This might just be a good stock for you. Quantum Corp, again, momentum. I don't like these upper wicks here. A lot of volatility here. So if you're not comfortable with volatility or if you get emotional, probably not the stock for you. Now, IONQ, of all the momentum plays, this is probably my favorite. As you know, as far as looking into news stories, only great positive stuff going along with this company. And you can see, I actually looked at it before in the past. It broke this downward trend line, flattened out a little bit, but then off to the races. But look, we got full body candlesticks over the last few trading sessions. Buyers are in control. So I'm going to play it to the upside with discipline. Now, here's AMD. Probably my favorite stock on the list, but not the time to buy it. I do like opportunities presenting themselves. The stock is now undervalued, but momentum all to the downside right now. Trust me, when AMD presents an opportunity to do some bottom fishing, I'm gonna be the first one to tell you. Here's LAES, the stock I did the short on yesterday, which was the, you know, the, the cause of doing this video. We do see it's down today at 273. Don't like those upper wicks over the last two trading sessions. If you want confirmation, right? We're looking at around 349. If we break 349, if I go out to a five-year chart, if I use a horizontal line, you can see these upper wicks coming right around that same price, around 361. So I'd like to get above these upper wicks here. It's about less than a dollar away. But if we get some confirmation here, look where the prior price was, $15, $20, a lot of upside potential. So if you go ahead and jump in now, it's aggressive. I would start with a smaller position, not a full position right now. This is going to be a great company. It's got semiconductor exposure with quantum computing breakthroughs. Another MAG7 stock, we got Microsoft momentum to the upside right now. But look, the stock is overvalued. So if I'm going to you know, try to play it safer here, there's other MAG7 stocks. Personally, I'm going to like Google over Microsoft when it comes to quantum computing. And also from a valuation standpoint, look, this company trading at 450. We only value it at 323. Google was greatly undervalued and it showed momentum to the upside. Now let's take a look at some more stocks here. We've got Adam. Look at this gap up today, breaking out of this resistance zone. Of all the stocks so far, if I'm going to do a momentum trade as of today or tomorrow, this probably looks the best so far just because I got some resistance. I got a little bit of room for resistance here. The high coming in at over $9. Uh, but again, look at the valuation here is actually on the decline over the last few months. So you could see a pattern here. And when it comes to these quantum computing stocks, the smaller companies, a lot of them are overvalued now here's amat right semiconductor company undervalued but just like amd all the momentum is to the downside right now i can't get behind it at this time 
Now here's TSEM, Towered Semi. Look, valuation just dropped. Don't like that. Price action still on the rise here. Again, momentum play. I think something like the star search help capture momentum. If you're in this position, protect profits, right? I'm not saying take profits today. We just got a new buy rating, but this is a high flying stock. Don't want you to miss out. Just stay disciplined. Here we have COHR. Now this stock is overvalued, right? We see price action on the rise, but look at value also on the rise here. Quite a bit, went from $30, just over $60. So I like this, even though it's overvalued, I like to see value on the rise, but I'm gonna focus more on the technicals here. Price action a little wobbly if I use a freehand line, as long as price action can stay above this trend line here. You can see the bottom wicks all approaching several touches here. Looks like four touches on this trend line. So as long as price action can stay above this trend line, I would remain bullish. Here we have micro strategy. Now, the only reason this stock made the list, I don't know any you know, quantum computing, but it's actually in the Defiance Quantum ETF. It's one of its major holdings. So that's the sole reason why MicroStrategy made the list. You see MicroStrategy here. I'm not a fan. Way overvalued the company. They really only sell derivatives of Bitcoin. Not doing a whole lot here. So I can't get behind MicroStrategy. It's just a personal thing. I don't like the company. I like Bitcoin, but just not MicroStrategy. Now here we got Honeywell. Look at this. Price action on the rise. Value on the rise. 234 buy rating in place i do like this company a lot if we look at the growth rate and earnings seven percent sales growth rate six percent here not going to be a high flying stock like some of the other quantum stocks here but if you want exposure to the space and a great well-known company with not a lot of volatility this might just be a stock for you now here's qualcomm look at this value still on the rise here but look price action not doing a whole lot of anything here we're seeing right at this level support 157 but not seeing much buying pressure there the moment Momentum still to the downside, thus just like AMD and AMAT, not there at this time. Here we have WIT. Look at price action. Another gap up today coming at 374. And look at this valuation. Huge jump in valuation here. We value the company at 276. So it is overvalued, but the momentum is there. I do like that for the bulls, but the valuation, it's on the rise. That I like. So this stock, I haven't heard much news about it, but I actually like this stock. You know, keep it on your radar. Here we have IBM. I don't like the divergence. I see price action on the rise. Value you dropping uh right now price action did cross back into the middle lane here with the star search three just crossed below the eight so there i can't get behind it right now and this is the last stock we got we meet holograms as a software company here a lot of consolidation here this is the level i want to take out we got 106 right now we're at 103 we can break out of the zone i'm going to say 109 for confirmation this position here might just be primed for a huge jump to the upside all right bb nation we're a community and i need your help please 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 put in the comment section some quantum stocks i might be missing like i said i just started this list here so that way we can all help each other and stay on the right side of the market going into 2025. on top of that there are going to be some things i changed going into 2025 i'm going to do more portfolios you know show you more actual trades to get you involved and to show you exactly what i am doing also on top of you know giving me quantum computing stocks let me know how i can improve the channel right it's all about you guys it's all about helping you make money let me know how i could do a better job going into 2000 25. Now, again, my name is Ryan. It's a pleasure giving you this presentation. Tomorrow night, semiconductors and quantum computing, we're going to tackle it. And I'm going to show you some great opportunities that are coming to fruition. 2025 is almost here. You know what that means? The clock is ticking down for our flagship event. That's right. Two day investment seminar. January 10th and 11th in Tampa. Now, if you want to visit this in person, there are a couple seats left available. Just go to vectorvest.com forward slash Tampa. See you there.